guys welcome back to my channel I hope you are doing all super well today I would like to share with you some items that I have purchased in the past couple of weeks so get yourself coffee or tea make yourself comfortable and let's get started first of the item is from Bottega Veneta I have been deciding for a while in which bag to get because I really fall in love with the Bottega pouch However, I knew that it just wouldn't fit to my lifestyle. Therefore, I decided against it and I went for this Bottega Veneta shoulder pouch. Um, it is in this beautiful burgundy color, which I thought it would be really nice for autumn and winter months. It is in a small size, so it fits all your essential plus much more. It has the same closure as the pouch, the magnetic one and uh, yeah i mean it is lamb skin so i was a little bit worried but i've been wearing it for a week and i can't see the scratches however if you would like me to do detail review let me know because i can do so in a few weeks time when i was wearing it and using it much more it can be worn on top of your shoulder on crook of your arm or top held and uh, I really love the fact that you can just push this shoulder down and you can wear it as a shoulder pouch. So yeah, love it, would recommend it at the moment and um, you will see at the end of the video all items shown in the video, how I would style them. So please keep watching and if you are interested, subscribe to my Instagram and you can see all the items there as well. The next item is from Bottega Veneta. These shoes that I've been eyeing for a while, but I was a little bit worried as they are 95 height and I'm just not that comfortable with that high because I had few knee surgeries, so I prefer a little bit lower heel. Anyhow, I have to admit that they are very comfortable. They are from this super soft leather and yeah, I would just say that they fit through to size. I'm 37 and a half in high heels and they fit just fine. The next item from Bottega is um, this blazer. It is in oversized style, but it can be styled up or down. It is from this soft, really nice wool, but not too thick. So definitely can be worn through summer months too. Yeah. I really love it. The only problem with Bottega, I'm a bit confused with the sizing. I took this in Italian size 40, wanted to grab the matching pants, however, I ordered it size of 40, 38, all too big. So I'm still waiting for the size 36 and I will let you know how I go. Next item is from Dior. With my girlfriend, we went for coffee and we just found the boutique. And I didn't want to shop. However, when I saw these boots, I thought I really have to have them because I do not have any boots in this beautiful burgundy color. They are 80 high, so it's very comfortable. Super soft lamb skin leather. I love the fact of the Dior being so minimalistic at the back. And yeah, what else? Love them and I can't wait to wear them. They are also in size 37 and half, so definitely I would say that they fit true to size. The next item is, is from my favorite Australian designer, Zimmerman. This lovely, I would say, ivory color summer dress. It's a high neck, I would definitely wear it more uh, dressed up than down, because especially of the, can you see the beautiful detailing? It's short dress, not too short, not too long. I am a regular size one and yeah, it fits like a glove. Also, this dress I bought from Zimmerman in size one. It is 100% silk and I thought it would be really like simple dress for summer. Also matching the Bottega Veneta bag. The next item is from this new brand that I've found called ATM. These cargo pants, I thought it would be great for summer it's 100% silk they are three quarter length and yeah I really love it I mean I love camouflage print so I can't wait to wear them they are in size small and I got also the matching camisole 
also in size small and I really like it. Continuing in the camouflage uh, theme, I got this simple cardigan. Um, I wanted really like the oversized look that is so popular now. So I got size small forward slash M. It is from Wooden Ships brand and uh, I found it in one little boutique in Sydney so I really like it. The next item, and I promise it's the last camouflage print, is this little shorts from Balmain. And I really thought it would be a really cute addition for a summer. You can dress it up or down. They are in size 38, French size 38. And um, I can say they fit through to size because all my Balmain items are in size 38. The next item from Balmain is this denim dress, army green. Um, I mean, it's a simple dress. You can dress it up or down. The chain is removable. It has the opening at the back. It's great length as well and tied up around the neck. The material is uh, coated with elastan, so it has a little stretch and it's yeah, really comfortable. The last item is from this new brand that I came across. Uh, I think it is pronounced Mandela, but I'm not sure. And I thought these shoes would be really nice to match the dress and I really like them. The 80 heel is really comfortable, I think especially because it's like a little bit thicker, so yeah, definitely would recommend. If you are interested in them, definitely size up half a size because this I had to take in size 38 and I'm regular 37 and half. If you are interested in any of the items, I will link all of them down below so you can check them out. This is the Bottega Veneta shoulder pouch that is intended to be worn like this. Or you can wear it on a shoulder as such. Another option is just to wear it top handled. Or you can just push the shoulder strap down and you can create the illusion of the regular Bottega Veneta pouch. The last option shown here is just to carry the crook of your arm. Uh, for your information, I'm 172 cm tall and this is the small pouch. Here is the Zimmerman dress as worn in the video. It is 100% silk and it is in size 1. This is another Zimmerman dress in size 1 and in ivory color. So it is matched here with a black Balenciaga knife heels as well as a black Chanel mini rectangle bag. Since it's ivory color, you can match it with any of the colors. It is more dressy sort of style, so I wouldn't recommend to dress it down. This Balmain dress is in French size 38, and here it is styled with the Bandler shoes, as shown in a video, as well as a Louis Vuitton multi pochette that uh, are color coordinated. However, you can achieve really more dressed up look with the pointy shoes, any of the nudes, goldish or pinky shades would be really nice. For pop-up color, I would opt for like fuchsia color and uh, you can opt for more dressy handbag. Also, you can achieve more casual look with uh, sneakers or some kind of flat shoes with this dress. The ATM camisole and ATM joggers are in size small, they're 100% silk, so as you can see definitely they need ironing before I take them out. Uh, they are styled here with uh, simple Scanlan Theodore uh, mules as well as Louis Vuitton multi pochette. You can upgrade the look with uh, various heels or flat shoes, sneakers, any of the nudes or 
as well. Pinky color would be nice. Balman shorts are in French size 38. Here they are styled with Valentino pumps as well as Valentino clutch for a little bit pop of color. And the top is from Kukai in a size small. You can style this whole look with the sneakers for a more casual look. Last of the camouflage items is this camouflage jumper. As you can see, it is an oversized look. Uh, the size is small to medium and um, that's what is now so trendy. You can style it with various items from simple denim jeans to skirts uh, and uh, pants with nude colors um, as well pink color but yeah it is very simple item in a wardrobe last item are these beautiful mules from bottega veneta since they are white i've styled them here with white scanlan theodore skirt and white top from kukai and the back is from Louis Vuitton at a twist in PM size. Since they are white, they are beautiful for summer with any dresses or pants. The only item I would avoid are evening dresses as I'm not a big fan of combining the square toe with the evening dresses. So this was it for today's haul. I hope you enjoy it. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment box down below. I wish you a lovely day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Ciao.